Hey guys, thanks so much for tuning in to another real-time edit. I'm going to do something quite a bit different this time in that I haven't even edited this photo yet. And it's one that I'm not sure I'm even going to like in the end because it's going to be a little experimental for me, something a little different. I think I see potential here, but I'm not sure I'm really going to like it in the end. But I've decided I'm going to record this edit and I'll share the edit either way, even if I don't end up sharing this photo and liking it in the end. So... Um, I shot this uh, this morning, actually, and I took this shot because the bird landed there real quick. I saw this light, and I think I, yeah, I just shot it as is. I didn't do any exposure compensation. And my next move, I took like two or three photos as it turned its head, and then my next move was going to take a big step right to try and put more of this dark trunk behind the bird and out to this side. But as soon as I took this photo and I think one more, it moved, it like jumped up and it was all up in these branches and everything. So what I love about this is the rim light on this bird that's getting set off against this dark tree trunk in the background. And normally I'd like this whole field to just be black, but in this case, it's kind of a clean white. I'm ignoring these branches right now because I'm gonna remove them. And I thought, wow, this might be interesting. If I rotate it so this line is perfectly vertical and then just have a almost down the middle split of black white in the background and then the bird standing out over here, it might be interesting. So that's what I'm going to try. So here we go. Step one, straighten this tree trunk out back there. This tree was all growing sideways and crooked anyway, so I'm not too worried about that. And now I want to crop it so the split goes pretty much down the middle and I think I'm going to end up darkening that side so everything is a little uh, darker so the tree kind of just blends into the background on that side anyway uh, but we'll see and I'm going to go with a pretty centered composition vertically for the bird too so I think that's where I'm going to start I'm going to lighten this up really enhance that rim light and let that side go white Fill up just a little bit and then bring the blacks back down for contrast. Maybe something like that. I think that's a good starting point. I want to keep this bird kind of dark. Maybe I'll go even darker. Yeah, let's go dark and dramatic with it. There we go. I think I like that better. And this still looks a little crooked back there, so I'm just going to do a little bit more rotation because I really want that... Um, tree trunk at that split in the back to be pretty straight up and down that looks that feels better all right into photoshop bear with me this always takes a while because of the screen recording software all right thank you all right first things first oops is to go into photoshop there we go uh, first things first is to, I'm just going to clone out these branches here. So I'm just going to start with the spot healing brush on stuff like that because it usually works pretty well. Kind of figuring out and matching texture. Yeah, it's doing a really good job there. And it does not need to be perfect at all in there because it's just like a random pattern. And since it's working so well, what the hell, I'll just keep going with it. Yep. That's working well. Out here, I kind of don't really need to worry about it because I'm just probably going to go pure white with that. But um, since it's not pure white yet, let me uh, just keep removing some of this stuff. Little spot there. This I don't think the healing brush can do good on because it's in an area that is uh, transitional and gradient there. But I'm going to try it after this one is done just to see what happens. So that looks pretty good out there. And then let's see what it does there. I'm thinking it's going to screw it up. Yeah, see, look at that weird line it made. So switch to the clone tool, take care of it myself. And then I'm just going to smooth that line up there a little bit. I also don't really like the blue back there. I wish that was uh, all gray, and so I'm going to make it all gray. But anyway, first things first, I want to make this like white, white. So I'm going to lighten that, 
drop a gradient on there so it just affects the right side there we go let's fix the color I'm just gonna use a blank layer on color blending mode sample that and just go right down the middle there and there that gets rid of that blue and matches it up also let me go back to my clone layer and just get rid of this weird probably out of focus branch just going through the background there in between us and that tree trunk I say us meaning the camera uh, yeah that's looking pretty good it's giving me the split that I want now I need more drama on this whole side so I'm just gonna burn everything down a little bit there something like that and then come in here and accurately undo that from the bird itself love these birds man they're they are my favorite looking warbler that I've ever photographed there are some others that are magnificent but I don't know what it is for me there's just something about this coloration this pattern the uh, black and white pattern on this guy is just pretty spectacular and female because they look identical um, it's pretty spectacular and then that yellow incredible yellow throat that just gets masked in the way it does man it just something pretty special about that color pattern for me although it's hard to argue with like a black Bernian warbler or um, magnolia warbler I mean there's so many of them that are just really gorgeous gorgeous birds but everybody's got their own taste you know all right so let's fill this in solid black oops Love when the computer can't keep up. It's always fun, huh? I love that you can see, I'm gonna do a dodge layer now and just kind of, I wanna enhance the white markings here very subtly. Cut the eyelash there, the little yellow lures. And I'm gonna bring the catch light in just enough to give the indication of the eye. And then on this dodge layer, I'm really going to accentuate this rim lighting that's hitting them there. So I'm just going to hit some of these areas a little bit more with some lightning. Just to really make that stand out. We'll let that kind of help the bird show against this solid black background. I don't think the throat needs any more lightning. I love that there's a little glow through the middle of the beak there. And along the edge the top edge and the bottom edge and I screwed that up a little so I'll just come back and fix that up there we go um boy it's interesting you know it certainly is something a little different um you know like I mean just real quick I'm gonna save it as is uh I gotta decide if I'm gonna really like this but just this is a, a hacked way of doing this but I just want to show you guys as soon as the computer catches up here, what it would look like if it was all, hang on, if it was all um, gray back there, or that darker tone, right? So I'm just going to kind of crappy stretch that out, but you know what I mean? Like, look how, see how that bird would really stand out now? <laughs> like, if he's the only thing in there and just all dark. And that glow is incredible. Uh, but it is kind of interesting with the split like that, you know? Um, it's just the white really competes for attention. So I don't know. I'm going to save this and I'll share this video. And I have to decide if I like this photo as is. Uh, or, I mean, my if I was really going to edit it to get rid of all the white, I would honestly just kind of clone this pattern out probably uh wait let me go up top here like something like this and just kind of try and keep it all actually I could probably screw cloning just grab a paintbrush and just paint it all in dark like that and then grab some darker tones and paint that around and ooh, look how funky it's uh, showing here. 
it's like banding like crazy and we'll get some darker around the edges and you know some just darker patterns all in through there whoops and break that up now I, what i do see how you can see this banding i don't know if you guys can see it in the recording here i mean it shows horribly when i'm like out at the zoom but when i go into 100 percent, it's still there so that's because i'm using a really large soft brush and it just can't handle that gradient so what do i do so let's take a look let's zoom in all the way here see how smooth these colors are and then if you can see over here there's all this grain and noise because that's from the original capture so i would actually come back in noise add noise and then just kind of you know subtle noise to, to match it over there and this adds grain back to it and voila look at that my uh all that weird banding watch before see the banding after gone all right so that noise actually breaks it up and that's why you normally don't see banding in regular images uh because um what you call it most digital images have that boy i gotta say i'm really liking the dark now <laughs> overall uh so i don't know I'll, I'll save it this way um i'll make a determinate determination later when i actually share the photo but uh in the meantime hopefully you enjoyed this edit and learned a little something and also got into my head a little bit here with the creative process and trying different things and seeing what you like thanks for watching hope you enjoyed